Hey everyone, as I'm sure you can see, something's a little different. I'm blue, I'm glowing, I guess I'm a force ghost? Yeah. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a force ghost effect. I did do this about a year ago, but unfortunately that video is no longer on my channel, so here I am remaking it for 2020. This effect is pretty simple and can be achieved in just about any editor, so for this video I'm going to be using Premiere Pro and Filmora 9, which are what I've covered the most on my channel. Let's get right into it. Hello Raphael. Hello. One of the things I noticed about Force Ghosts in Star Wars is that they can look very different from scene to scene. There are instances where the ghosts are very faint, and others where they're pretty solidly visible. Then there's Yoda's scene in The Last Jedi where he barely looks like a Force Ghost at all and there's only a faint blue glow surrounding him. What all of this means for you is that you have a fair amount of creative freedom when creating a Force Ghost effect. Do you see this, Raphael? This yeah. is the sacred weapon of a Jedi Knight. The easiest method, at least for me, is to film the forced ghost scene on location and then use masks to create the effect. So at the beginning, I basically just filmed myself saying some lines in front of the camera, and then I stepped out of frame for a second to get a clean shot of the background. Next, you'll want to import your footage into your editor of choice. Place the background in your timeline first. In Premiere, you'll want to make a frame hold, and in Filmora, you'll want to take a snapshot. Both of these are the same thing. I'm going to extend this out in my timeline, and then I'll take the footage of me and place it on top. Did I ever tell you the story of my friend Aiden? No. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. Next, I'm going to start masking the footage. In Filmora 9, I'm going to go to the Effects tab, I'm going to choose Shape Mask, and drag it onto my footage. In Premiere, I'll just go to the Effects tab and grab Lumetri Color. Well, you're not a Jedi. Well, I mean, I'm a Force Ghost, so no, I'm not technically a Jedi, but I was. Masking in both programs is a little different, and Premiere Pro, as you might expect, is better suited to this particular effect. In Premiere, you can really fine-tune the mask and shape it around your subject, and there is also an automatic tracking feature so that the mask moves with your subject, at least to a certain degree of accuracy. In Filmora 9, the masking feature is pretty basic. You have to work with a set shape, and there aren't a whole lot of options to customize it. What this means is that in Premiere, the final result looks pretty good, and Filmora, well, I'm gonna be honest here, it looks less good. Nevertheless, we shall continue. Once you have the masks in place, you'll want to go to each editor's respective color panel and lower the temperature all the way to negative 100%. Don't forget to feather the mask out a little, and boom. Simple as that, and you now have what looks like a very basic Force Ghost. Check out my Tinder profile picture. What do you think? Weird. The next step is to lower the opacity on myself. I typically stick around 90 to 95%, just enough that you can see through to the background, and this helps to sell the ghost effect a little better. Finally, I can add some glow. In Premiere, there is an effect called VR Glow, so I just grab that, mask it around myself, and adjust the parameters to get the effect that I like. In Filmora, it's a little simpler. What I like to do is just grab one of the lens flare effects and drop it on top of my Force Ghost. So there you go, a basic Force Ghost effect in both Premiere Pro and Filmora 9. There's actually another method that you can use to get slightly better results, and that is to use a green screen. Using a green screen will probably involve a little more planning on your part, but the final result actually works out really well. All you need is footage of yourself against a green screen, and of course, a background shot. In my editor, I can take the green screen shot and place it on top of the background. In Premiere, you search for the chroma key effect and drag it on top of the green screen footage. In Filmora 9, just double click on the clip and you'll find the green screen effect in this panel right here. From here, it's pretty straightforward. There's an eyedropper tool in both editors that you can use to get started, and then a bunch of settings to mess around with to clean up the shot. But once I'm finished keying out the green screen, I can move myself anywhere I want, and I'm not just glued to one spot. Again, I just use the color panels to make myself blue, maybe add a little glow or raise the exposure, but yeah, I'm pretty much done. This is actually how I did it for my previous Force Ghost tutorial, and it still holds up. Anthony? What are you doing? Anthony! Go inside. There's hot chocolate. Hot oh, chocolate. Come on, get up. Anthony. <sighs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and check out some more of my videos linked in the description down below. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.